This was first proffered by John Searle, I think, in 1970 or so. It's called the, the, the Chinese Chinese box experiment. And the idea is Searle pictures himself locked into a room with a supercomputer. And there's yeah. a couple of slots. And in one slot, he gets, you know, a, a string of Chinese characters on a page. Now, he, Searle can't read Chinese. The characters don't mean anything to him. He recognizes them as a, perhaps a language because he's seen them referenced elsewhere. But... Beyond that, he has no idea what, what they mean. However, he does know that if he sees these characters, he can put them in a certain order into this computer, and the computer will then spit out a second set of Chinese characters. This is, this is how computer programs work. You input, you look it up, and then you have an output. And so what happens is he pushes the string of characters, copies them down, and puts them through the second slot in the door, on the outbound side. Now, for all he's doing is he's doing rote instruction. It doesn't really mean anything. But the people on the outside of the box who don't see anything, they think, first of all, that there's a wise man in here and yes. who knows Chinese. And when we give him a specific Chinese question, he comes back with, with amazing insights in Chinese. And what Searle's trying to say is, no, 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 this is how computers work. They aren't they're, they're just replacing characters A with characters B based on certain set of rules. That's all they're doing. They have no cognizance.